Today, Miss Elena Cardone, the beautiful, my wife, mm. responsible for all my greatness, all, is here with me today. Uh, uh, and, and here we share with you how we keep our marriage together. Today we're going to be talking about who wins in this recession. Mm. Will your family win? Mm -hmm. Will your parents win? Mm -hmm. Will your uncle and auntie win? Mm. Will your neighborhood win? I'm going to share with you exactly who's going to win. There's five things you must have to win, three which are not even negotiable. Ooh, and we'll I be sharing it. that with I you at the end it. of the show. What do you think they are, by the way, if you're watching uh, or listening? What do you think they are? What do you need to win in this recession? There will be winners and there will be losers. For sure. You know, I was studying, Post and comments, though. Yeah, I was studying the about the Rothschilds last night. I was overhearing that. It was fascinating. Back in the 1800s. Those guys are supposedly worth a couple trillion dollars today. If you take all the Rothies. But yet together. they hide themselves so they don't even end up on Forbes. Because they super rich. Before we talk oh. about who wins in the recession. They said, they said they were responsible for like every war. Yeah, every war that's ever happened. <laughs> Everyone in the entire history. They fund war. both sides and then they, they, then they, they, then they, they figure they out. bang it out. So look, we're not the Rothschilds. We're everyday people. Both grew up in Louisiana from lower middle class families. And we somehow have figured out how to squeak through and at least create a life that uh, where, where we get to live life and enjoy life and have fun and have friends and travel the world. And we want to share that with you. That's why we come here, share with you what we're learning that works, the things that Elena learns that doesn't work. <laughs> she was role playing this morning. Yes. You want to talk, talk about that? Well, it's very exciting. But yes, I was role playing on how to handle when you hear, uh, I need to think about it as an objection. And so we did, you had three Yeah, so points. I want to think about it. What do you say? No, oh, you yeah, ready? I got it. I usually think about every decision that I make also. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Um, how long do you usually take to think about it? Is it mm -hmm. like two, two days, two weeks? I mean, is it two years? How long do you usually oh, no, take? No, no, no. I just need a couple hours, really. Oh, okay. Well, let me tell you this. No matter how long you take, there's going to be three questions you're going to ask yourself. Do you, can I share them with you? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Um, number one is, does my mastermind, does my mastermind with this program solve your problem for you? Is this well, I, I don't know if it will or not. Well, then that's a different thing. But just for the sake of this drill, so oh, just yeah, say yeah, yes. Yeah, to yeah all of, of course you. it will. Of course it will. Of course oh, it will. Okay. I, I know I need to be there. So that's question number one. Absolutely. Yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. Do you have the $3,300 to make that investment in yourself? Yes, I have the money. Oh, awesome. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. Am I the person that you want to trust with this two-day seminar, this mastermind? Am I the person? Am I the coach? Yeah, you yeah, Lena. In? You're the one. You're Great. the one. Great. This is awesome. If all three so answers were yes, Boom. then let's take time out of the equation. And let's equation. solve your equation. equation. Let's let's take time out of the equation and solve this problem. That's for you awesome, now. man. And Elena, let's do this, people. Uh, uh, Elena's good. Don't start clapping. Uh, don't get too excited. Don't, don't get too excited. Just say Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Well, that's the script I memorized. Th th this makes you sound Straight like a seal. Out of card. Okay. Right hey, there. I want to talk about something really serious. Okay. Last night I went to the gym. Great job, Elena. Keep Thank working you. on it. Okay. I'm work, work it out. Every day. Um, training from the best. Last, speaking of training, last night I went to the gym. I've, I've been begging. I told my gym uh, where we live, we have 38 people that live in our building. Okay. There's only like five or six people in the building at any given time. Literally, right. the well, place is empty. 38 people, like maybe own. No, there's 38 floors in the building. 38 floors. Okay. There's 38 floors, 38 residents, maybe. What? Maybe. There, there might be five or six people that live in the building Permanent. at any given time. Right. What's wrong with what I just said? Does your wife always correct you because about you everything said, you say? Because what you said was 38 people live there, uh -huh. but only five are there. And yeah. so it's confusing. What are you talking about? You just told me there's 38. Why are there only five there? Because most people don't realize this is that why the building we live in is sort of a this, vacation home for other people. This is why people quit Continue. having sex right here. Okay, so... That um, not be why. So anyway, I'm emailing Matt. Matt runs our building. He's a great dude. And, and, and I'm like, Matt, look, it's been two months, dude. The whole thing's stupid, ridiculous. Just because the city doesn't let uh, these big 400, 500 unit buildings go work out in the gym, that, 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 that doesn't apply to us. Now, he's got to abide by the codes and the rules of the city, blah, 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 and blah. Uh, why I hate being a citizen. And so... You just I'm like, Matt, look, I, I get a, doc I got a, a letter from my doctor saying I must work out. I have to work out. And then I also got another letter saying I am not COVID positive. 
and, and, and so I'm like, get him the letter. I'm like, let, let me in the gym, man. So he figures out the city says, yeah, you can let one person, but you got to you got to uh, schedule it. Mm -hmm. And then he tells me, hey, you got to wear a mask when you're in there. I'm like, all right. I'll try to do that. Well, I'm on my bike last night riding. Hopping First time. Out. I'm so excited about it. I'm finally getting to work out in the gym, right? How do and you I'm breathe? like, what, what, are you, what am I going to do with a mask on my like, face while you're working it's out? It's like breathing in a paper bag. You're going to asphyxiate yourself. Oceans are still closed. <laughs> okay. I don't know what oceans have to do with coronavirus. I thought it was China, not the Pacific. Don't be smart. Okay. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to talk about today in today's show is... Should China be penalized for causing this? Oh, that's a hot topic. And Let's then the social distancing that's going to happen in Vegas. I called a friend last week or earlier this week and said, hey, when are you going to go back to Vegas? He said, man, it just doesn't sound fun. Like, how are they going to do the social distancing? What, what, first of all, the mask, okay? 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Should you be forced to wear a mask while you I, work out you in know, Equinox? I understand the concept of the mask, but I am not a fan I don't know. Should, what should we do? Should we just let the people who are willing to take one for the team and go get coronavirus that are strong enough out and who aren't scared out and everyone who is scared just stay home? And well, I mean, I mean, if you're sick, if you're sick, though. I well, mean, you should be responsible to stay in, right? But I guess they're saying people don't know if they've got it. I, I maybe there should be a it. fine. Maybe there should be a fine if you get somebody sick, if you pass on a viral disease, a oh, chlamydia, yeah. a virus, oh a, a STD, or... Or, oh, the courts or, or would the be filled up for the next 20 years. The courts, How do you filled, prove the courts that? are filled up now. How do you prove that? Okay, then so should China be punished? Well, let's don't go there yet. Okay, because you just say, say, should say that. They, I, should I really want to talk about should China. I think China should be, but let, let's just say that, okay? So. How do you wear a mask when you work out? Okay, I went in there seven o'clock last night. Know. I got my first workout in. My second workout was twelve hours later, seven a.m. this That's morning. That's right, seven and seven. How does your building even manage the activity? How do they enforce it? Right? What are they going to come do with the police? I mean, and I don't why even want to did you have to wear right a now. mask when you were in the gym by yourself? By myself, it's a thousand gonna... square feet. Wash it down after anyway and sanitize it because that's what they said they were going to Well, do. but if the mask works, they shouldn't have to sanitize it. Well, I guess it's on your hands. What is, what's on my hands? The germs. Yeah, then, 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 then you know. The virus, coronavirus. <laughs> Did you see who you Nicki Minaj? Who you? No. Uh -uh. She was like, coronavirus, coronavirus. <laughs> Who's she acting like, Trump? No, I think she was being herself. Oh, oh. No, oh. I'm sorry. It was Cardi B. Oh, sorry, yeah. it was well, Cardi, Cardi B. Cardi B. Okay, let's Not talk to one of our sorry. callers about the mask. Should you be forced to wear a mask in the gym? I don't know. By the way, this when you guys thing. come on our webinar, when you come on the webinar Saturday, okay, Saturday, grantcardone.com forward slash REI, you are not required to wear a mask. The, the mask thing is going to be a big deal. They showed on social media yesterday a woman in a grocery store not wearing a mask, and I kid you not, eight oh to my ten God, it was mask patrons were yelling at, get at out her, of there. trying to get Tell her out. Her it's going to be an ugly scene when this thing opens up. Mask versus no mask. Hot topic. That's Johnny the camera guy, by the way. He's our backup guy now. Johnny the camera guy, folks, is our now, is always on the, the shows with me. Hello. Johnny the camera Why guy. Why is he back? Who, who do we have on the phone, Johnny? We got Ho Sui on the line. Feng Shui? Ho Sui. What's up, bro? What's up, Feng Shui? No, stop it. No, it's, it's, it's Ho Sui. It's like Jose with Sui. Ho Sui. Hey, where are you calling from? Oh, Sway. That's cool. I'm calling from Manchester, New Hampshire, and he's cold over here. Oh, nice, man. Nice. So, look, man, let me ask you something. Do you work out? Do you go to the gym? Actually, I actually don't work out anymore. I actually, actually, yeah, that's I'm a no. Sure. That'd be a no. That'd be a no. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, now I'm going to guess your yeah. age. I'm going to guess your age. Hang on. What do you think? What do you think his age is? Write it down. Okay. Whoever's closest gets 100 bucks. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's go. All right. 27. How old are you? 34. 30. Oh, I'm 38. I win. You win. Okay, $100. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, mask and gyms. You don't go to gyms, but do you wear a mask? No, I do not wear a mask because I, I just think, I did my research, you know, in the beginning. I was all worried and scared, like, about the virus. 
And then I started doing research, listening to second opinions from doctors. And a lot of doctors are comparing the mask to like uh, a, a chain link uh, fence where they hold it as fly. fly. A fake is to, and plus you're breathing your carbon monoxide and, and this is making things worse, stressing your immune system. And okay. that's where I found out from a lot of do- uh, second opinion doctors, you know, so. Let me tell you. doing research for that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and look, when you get around, when I get around really successful people, I actually want to breathe the air they're breathing. You know, I get around Mark Cuban, I'm like, please breathe on me. Please. Elon, please breathe on me. Okay, I want to pick up some of them particles you got, some of that success particles. I need some of that. <laughs> okay, I remember when I was a kid growing up, I'm like, I just want to be around successful people. Mm-hmm. What, what do they eat? What do they breathe? Mm-hmm. What's the air like where they live? Okay, what do you, you have a question in New Hampshire? Uh, well, mostly because um, the thing is, my background is I have muscular dystrophy, and I retired uh, two years ago because uh, I couldn't do any physical work. But I came across uh, you and your website and your, and your YouTube channels. I just wanted to see uh, what, what advice can you offer somebody that has like a disability like me, where I want to get off the Social Security income. You know, I have three boys and stuff, and I, wow. you know, I have a, uh, my my girl. We help out, but. I just realized, you know, the Social Security and what's going on with the economy, this, this, I can't be uh, living off of that type of income. And I feel like real estate, yeah. uh, maybe your teaching, you can um, kind of help me or guide me in the right direction. Yeah, well, de- definitely, look, join me, join me, because you can, you know, the beautiful thing about real estate is you can have, yeah. like, I can do real estate from a, from a wheelchair. Like, I, I could literally, like, be an amputee and still buy real estate. Nobody cares if I have legs, arms. They just want to know, hey, do you know how to operate, manage properties, pick them, pay the right price, underwrite them, manage them, keep them full? Like, real estate is, that's why I love real estate so much. You don't have to be, you could be severely handicapped. You could be no Mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's proof that real estate uh, millionaires, people that are successful in real estate, are less educated. This is a fact. Less connected. Wow. Okay? Is made more millionaires, okay, without, without having connections. Uh, without having education. Wow. Uh, forget the whole thing. It's a lo- lower, l- lower than normal education for that, 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 that income bracket. Yeah. No, the, for, for that, that wealth bracket. Wow. So I would definitely join me uh, Saturday, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be taking you through the entire timeline of my real estate career. So a lot of people see me today with a billion dollars worth of real estate. I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. I started with $3,500. My first deal was $3,500. My second deal was no money. We're literally going over all my deals today. $3,500, no money. My fourth deal, uh, no, my sixth deal was $3 million and no money. I paid no money for that, that sixth deal. Wow. I just right. ran across the records today. Paid no money for it. That deal ended up becoming Are you going to talk Camino about de that Costa, in the real Then it became Oriole. Then it became wow. the portfolio. Wow. That, Six deal turned into a hundred and eighty million dollars deal if you run the track. Wow! So, but like anybody can do that. that. So, New Hampshire, make sure uh, Sheng Shui, Feng Shui. No, it's like Ho Sway, like Ho. I call Ho him Sway. Feng Shui. Okay, it's your little nickname. He, that's my boy Feng Shui from now okay. on. Okay. Wait, right. can I ask you a question? In the real estate seminar webinar that you're going to do, are you going to cover how to do? Zero Dude, money? I'm going to show you exactly how I did these deals. Okay, I bought a deal with thirty five hundred dollars down. 30 days later, I bought a deal with no money down that was more expensive because mm-hmm. I learned from the first deal. So I had two deals. I've been telling people my third deal, my second deal was an apartment deal. It wasn't. We went back and looked at all the records. My second deal was another, uh, another house deal. I paid uh, $92,000 for that house, sold it uh, four years later for $125,000, picked up thirty grand. Woo-hoo! I was broke, man. Woo-hoo! I was broke. That was a lot of money, money for me. Oh, yeah. Okay? That house oh, today, yeah, that was a I sold lot of for one twenty-five. That house today is worth one point four million dollars. Wow! The other thing that we went through is we looked at all my deals, and Jared was in the office. He's like, "Dude, every deal you sold, the guy you sold it to has made as much money as you did." Wow! So I know how to pick deals that that don't just you know they continue to go up in value mm-hmm. over time. So I'll show you how to pick them, how to pay for them, how to get them done with no money down. The website's grantcardone.com forward slash r e i. There's 60,000 people registered for this event already. Wow. So we, Let me ask you this. How much do you wish that at the time you were doing this, you would have had 
a Grant Cardone telling you this information? I, uh, like, like it would make, it would be it so different been. where I would be today because I wouldn't have I wouldn't have sold a bunch of this real mm. estate. The biggest mistake I made, two big mistakes, is I waited too long. Three mistakes. I waited too long. Two. I didn't repeat the behavior. I should have been repeating. Mm. Mm -hmm. I should have been buying more stuff in the neighborhood. I got scared. And the third thing is I shouldn't have sold anything. Like nothing. I should have sold nothing. We I sold a deal in La Jolla. Uh, that deal that got me through 2000. Uh, oh, I remember. Uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah. We sold that for $18 million. Mm -hmm. I made $4 million in the worst economy you can make. I remember. I picked up $4 million. I shouldn't have sold it. They're wow. selling the units for $4 million each now. Wow. So, so uh, you know, we did a deal. We did a deal in uh, the third deal I did. This is before Elena, BE, B not BC. Um, and I put $350,000 down. That deal made me $4 million. Had I not sold it, it would have made me $14 million. Wow. So who wins in this economy? Oh, no, I ain't telling anybody that yet, okay? No way I'm telling anybody well, that. Next sure, caller. Next duh, caller. Real estate, uh, real estate investors win, win for sure. Yeah, good point, Elena. Let me yeah. use that, Mike. Oh, investors so did I get you line. number six? Investors are winners. Investors are okay. winners, okay. You got Mike. I can't hear you, Johnny. You got Mike, Mike. on the Mikey. mic. Mikey, what's up, Mike? What's up? Hey, Uncle G, how you doing? Come on, man, good. Appreciate you being on hold, brother. Oh, not a problem. What's up, man? Hey, hey, let's guess age again, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, hold, hold on, hold on, wait, Mike, hold on, Mike. Well, you got a number yet? No, hold on. Let's go. How long does it take you, man? Damn, you slow. Okay, good, I got okay, it. Okay, Mikey, how old are you? I'm uh, 28. Damn, I had 42. I have 26. Okay, Mike, what's going on, buddy? Oh, not much. I uh, was just hanging around. I saw you guys go alive uh, recently, so I just called in. Uh, if, what's the question? Dude, let me. Do, are you going to wear, when you go work out, if you go work out, if that ever happens again, are you going to wear a mask uh, when you do the bench press? <laughs> uh, that's what. Uh, uh, that's a hilarious question because if you go to the gym, you're there to build your health, right? Um, yeah. Theoretically. Yeah, not uh, breathe so your own you, air. <laughs> exactly. So if you wear a mask, isn't that doing the opposite? Because uh, if you're not able to breathe while you're doing a bench press, how are you going to, what's See, the point of being in the gym altogether? Seems like it to me, man. Your brain. Can you imagine doing the Smith machine, doing, doing deep, deep squats <sighs> with a mask uh, on your face? Like, it's crazy, it's folks. It's really stupid. Like, I think that we're going to look up a year from now and say, I cannot believe. Why were we listening to these experts we're going to who all, keep changing their minds when different feel like fools. data comes out? We're all going to feel like fools. Okay. I know. Okay. Hey, Mike, where do you live, buddy? I live in Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, what do you do for work? Are you still working? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm working from home. I'm, uh, I'm military. Yeah, are you going to continue to work from home or will you go back to the office? Um, we're going to probably go to the, uh, back to work pretty soon, but it's not going to be uh, like uh, on a full, uh, full time basis. It's uh -huh. going to be like, now, have you ever been to Vegas? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Now, 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 will you go back to Las Vegas in, in, in a crowded casino with, you know, people at the craps tables and a blackjack and pulling on the bars and. Oh, uh, probably not. I mean, Vegas is not really my thing anyways, but if yeah. I were to I mean, I'm not really scared about, like, Getting I'm not really fearful of the virus, I would say. I'm mostly fearful of uh, But guys, the how, how, how can Las Vegas make it? How can Las Vegas make it if this place was built, okay, was built, they know the numbers they need. They know how many slot machines they need, how many tables they need. These people know when to open the tables up from 25 to 50, 50 to 100. They know they, they, know, they every, know when to bring they, they know, know every how step much you're spending per like five minute in, yeah, interval. Exactly. And they yeah. know what it takes to run a hotel. I mean, they're saying like today, when you go to Vegas in the future, and I love Vegas. Like Las Vegas is a very important city to the US economy. Conferences go there, it gives people businesses a place to go. When you go to Vegas, they're saying, Hey, you you will not be able to valet your car. The hotel, the wind hotel cannot touch your bags. 
You cannot have more than four people in an elevator, not more than three people at a blackjack table. You see, I did my study. Did you do your study? Uh, do you I know did. these facts? I do. Okay. Because you told them to me last How, week. If you're gonna if you're gonna play craps, okay, craps. You know that uh, it's the yeah, game with yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah, show, yeah. show me, show me how you're gonna no, shake them. No, 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 I'm good. Show you're, me, you're, show you're, me how you're gonna shake them. Like shake them. Handle, handle, right? You're shake them. Shake them. Shake them. You, you know man, how to handle craps. You, you're not gonna blow. You're not gonna blow on the dice. Blow on my dice. Yeah. Bam. Bam. What are you gonna do? Are they gonna disinfect the, disinfect after a crap out? So what are you saying? Go, what don't go. What happens with the chips? What happens with the clay chips, man? Like, you guys, we got to get back to work, man. You're going to ruin entire, like, I, I know there's people dying. There's 100,000 people, bless every soul that's died, or bless everybody that's been, been lost because of this. We lose 60,000 people to a flu every year. In 1991, did you do your homework? In 1991, we lost 100,000 to the flu. It was a bad flu. We lose 600,000 people to heart disease and cancer every single year for the last 20 years. That's 12 million people. Okay, now I know that's not contagious, supposedly, know, but, but is it? but suicide rates are up. The people that aren't getting detected with their breast cancers and all those other kind of cancers that need to be detected in time. So it's like, it's like, it's like this. And the oceans are closed, you know? okay? Like, we're going to all look back later. I'm telling you, we're going to say we were so foolish being told all these things, the masks, the ventilators, don't go in the ocean. The fucking the fish ain't the getting sick. The sun kills it. Huh? They say the sun and the heat it drastically, re like, it weakens the strain. It weakens the virus. That's what that lady that's always on hey, Mikey, said thanks last night. For, thanks for calling in, Mikey. I appreciate you following us, man. Appreciate you that listening lady. to the show. Hope you come to our real estate event this Saturday, okay? It's going to be great for you. Now, folks, who's going to win? Who's going to win in the re the recession? Somebody going to win Do in this deal. Do the, we the, get the five? We, you, you had a list of five. I am. I'm going to give it. Can I get one? You Can know? you tease me with one? Can't hear you. I'll let you know when we're there. Yeah, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. That's why I need a clock over there, Johnny. See, that helps me. You know? It can helps. I get it? Can I can I get a teaser? Like, who's going to win in the recession? It's not going to be people with masks on, I guarantee you. Okay? okay well. It's not it's not going to be people that are lost their jobs. 39 million people lost their job. Folks, you got to get back you got to get back to work. The $1200 is coming back. You know that? They're going right. to send another three trillion out. They're trying to get three trillion more passed out. I want some of that three trillion. Screw the twelve hundred dollars. Hey, if you're with me on this, post below. So I want some of that three trillion. I want to know. Do How you think if they should send out that money again? Because it seems like. Well, then people will, will be more inclined to go eat out at a restaurant or to get out and to spend some money. So is this a bad thing? A good I don't thing? know. What do you think? Should they should they do another round of twelve? Well, I don't know who's paying the money back. I don't know where the money comes well, well, from. I don't understand this. Does it just get printed and they're like, here you go, it's free monop money? It's a monopoly. It's like you play a, a game of monopoly. And then there's all this money. Like I don't understand the money system. Like who who do we now owe that money to? Uh -huh. And when you give me twelve hundred, do I have to pay somebody back or was that free money? It's because a stimulus. It's a stimulus. No, no, no. When but I stimulate dude, you, do you have to pay me back? Of course you do. <laughs> Can we answer the question and stay on target, Mr. I, Inappropriate? I am. I am. Stimulation. That's okay. what this show is about. When I get the $1,200 yeah, check, yeah. is it free money? Yes, it's free. You don't pay that well, back. Well, then who okay. pays Why it Why am back? I doing that? I'm doing who it out of the back? CARES Act. I'm doing it out of the CARES Act. Do a little research. I'm doing it out of the CARES Act. Care, because we care, because politicians care. And they want your vote. And they're like, remember us in November, because we sent you another 1200 On top of, by the way, on top of the $600 bump, on top of the $300 unemployment, so that's 900 bucks a week, that's $3,600, and they want to send you another twelve because only 20% of the people have got their unemployment check. Fair story. Okay. People need some help. 39 yep. million people are out of work. Yes. 39 million people, folks, okay? That is the city of Los Angeles, New York, Houston, uh, and probably Miami combined. Is that, you think that's right? What's New York and L.A.? New York and L.A. has got to be 6 and 10, 16. Yeah, it's probably New York, L.A., Houston, Miami, maybe, and Chicago. Wow. Yeah. Out of work. That's a hard Those people to think are about. home now. Those people are home, but they, they filed for unemployment. They either have or have not got their unemployment. It's been two months now. They got rent due. They got electricity, water, food. Dude, people need some stimuli. It's not your fault, by the way, that, the, that China infected the world. Do we get to talk about China now? We will talk about China, but I think it's Rock's fault. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Like, I think rock. What, what nationality uh-huh. you rock? She's Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Puerto I only Rican. hang out with okay. the Puerto Ricans. Okay. Come on, give people so, on. So can I even say, can I use the term Puerto Rican yes, without getting in trouble? I just want to be. Oh my God, is that not a derogatory term? Sure. I, I don't know what I don't know I I, I don't know what what Try things it. to use anymore. Like, yeah, I can know. I say Spanish? We're not that yes. Can I say Mexican? That is. Can that I say is, black? That is. Can I say know. white? I don't know what I can say anymore. That's true. Can I say real estate? I know. <laughs> yes, I, know. I can. I, okay. I'm with you. I'm I, with I, you. I don't. I, I literally, Johnny, I, I literally do not. Can I say Johnny's a bald headed man? You, you sure can, but can, I do I hear, am. you know, that you're not, you're not supposed to say these things anymore. I'm not? Well, not necessarily about the ball. I'm agreeing with you. It, yeah. It's like people are so scared to say anything now to identify with somebody. So should people get the 1200 bucks? Should you even call him a male? Some people would be offended by that. I'm not there's sure. there's a unisex is. thing going on now. He might be a transy over there. <laughs> Johnny, the camera Let's guy's transy. Let's not go there. <laughs> Don't go there, Johnny? Yeah, you can call me bald, but I got... Your mama I, might be I, listening, I, huh? I, I, I do got something like my boy, else, my boy, Johnny, I always thought about Johnny. Johnny in a different kind of way, but... Okay. Um, so the 1200 bucks. Look, I, I think... You know, if you guys look at the deal, what, what the problem for me with all the stimuli is the stuff they bury into it. It's, it's what they bury into these mm-hmm, things mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. that becomes a problematic. Okay. Uh, uh, people, I'm going to just tell you, like, if you don't have a job, you're not going to win in the recession. You have to get a job. $3,600 is not going to solve your problem. If they're mm-hmm. paying you 900 and I know there's people out there that are not going back to work because you're getting 900 bucks a week. You're like, dude. Wow. I'm going to pick up my 900. You got a pay raise, okay? Wow. You're like, I wasn't making that much money where I worked. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my 900. I'm going to cross my fingers on the other 12. Here's the problem. You cannot create wealth and freedom on 3600 bucks a month. No. And it's going to run out. You got about 13 weeks of that. Maybe they stretch it to 26. If they stretch it further than that, which they're saying maybe January. No. Did you know that? No. All the way through January, the, uh, Pelosi wants to push it all the way to the end of January. Okay, again, all this is about November, yeah. by the way. All this is about, I need your vote. We're going ho- to hook you up through, through Christmas, through Santa, okay? If you go January 2021, you will have missed every great opportunity in the next six months that will reveal themselves. After every major crash in a marketplace, the next six months to 18 months just leaves all this wreckage of opportunity, okay? So this could be, there's the difference between helping a little bit, and then there's the difference what you're talking about is actually making somebody lazy. That's right, and when we come back from break, we're gonna talk about the difference. Hello, welcome back to the G&E Show. Finally, we might get to have some answers out of this guy. Cash, assets, job, discipline, investing. Is this who's gonna win? That's right. Are you giving it to me? I'm giving it to you right now. Dang, Welcome back to the G&E to, show. Like, prepare myself for that. It came at me so hard. Welcome and back heavy. to the G&E show. Woo! It's hot and heavy. Great to have you guys back here. Every week we come to you as a couple to talk to you about what's going on in the world today. Okay. Give it to me again then, nice and slow. Whoever has cash. Okay. You got cash. Now y'all have heard me say cash is trash. It is. If it just sits there. If it just sits there in the bank, it does nothing. It will not grow up and become Superman. Cash is trash. But anybody that's got cash right now and is willing to put it to work. Who's not scurred. Okay, it's like Lysol. You got to use it. It's got to come out of the bottle to be worth anything. You understand what I'm saying? You got to use it, man. It's like your muscle. You got to use it. Can't just show it off. Number one, cash. Two, you need assets. Anybody with assets... Particularly when we print dollars. Mm. We printed $7 trillion already. I asked a buddy of mine the other day, I said, dude, who wins on the print? He's like, well, anybody with assets is going to win. Why? Because assets should appreciate in value. They should be pushed up in value. The more cash is in the system, Mm. everybody Mm -hmm. just got a pay raise. Everybody's Mm -hmm. looking for that $1,200. you are looking for the unemployment. You should be looking for $7 trillion. (laughs) <laughs> you, got, you, got, you guys got your attention on the wrong thing, man. I, it, it was pouring down rain in here. Miami's been through these super, super storms. storms. Is that a term? We made it up. That's what I was asking well, then you this it's morning. A term. It's a super storm. The, the last two days, we've had water. Johnny, can you show that image, Johnny? By, by any chance? Yeah. Oh, Johnny's got electricity coming in here. 
Can you show the truck? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ooh. How you know that's Look at that. Who's that? Crazy Grant. Crazy Grant. That's who that is. That was yesterday. Okay, now my staff, my staff is running to the doors. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's raining so hard. Not my rock. Okay. Oh my God. Like they've never seen rain before. Flash, I'm like, guys, that's like a $1,200. We live in Miami. That's like a $1,200 stimulus check. Same thing. Same thing as unemployment. Tell oh me. my God, they're going to send me a check. You got you, you. You're paying attention to the wrong thing. They just printed seven trillion dollars. Go find that money right out of Who's Guala Guala. Who's got my money, Johnny? I don't know if you can find that clip. Oh, uh, Guala Guala. I think it's at three forty-four. Okay, no, it's at four twenty. Oh dang, it's close. at four twenty. Guala Guala. Listen to it. There's a guy that starts talking about money in the Gary. DJ Carnage and G Easy. G Easy. G G Easy. Did a song called Guala Guala, and Grant makes a debut, and it debut. I'm in so it. proud of that, by the way. Me too. You're Cash. Like famous. Assets. Job. Okay. Job. Who has a okay. job? You need okay. a job, folks. You need a job. You need okay. to be in the game. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if that job is at home. I don't know if it's with Grant, if it's in the marketplace, but you need a job. You need to be calling. You need to be out calling on people. Doesn't mean you have to work for someone or have a time card. That'd be good, though, because there's nice structure there. Four, you're going to have to have discipline. You got to have discipline. Okay, you could have cash and assets. You got to have discipline. Like, I have 30 years. One of my great superpowers is discipline. Oh, yeah. You know, I know when to say no and I know when to say yes. I say no more often than I say yes, by the way. I'm not Mr. Yes guy. Uh, like, I say no to a lot of deals. Got a stack of them on my desk right now. They're saying, would you like to revisit? And then you got to make investments, okay? The last thing is you have to invest in order to get wealthy. I've never met anybody that got wealthy on talent or work. Investing. You must invest money to get rich. You what actually hard work. Hard work. Oh, okay. Hard work. Yeah. You can just take my sheet of paper, by the way. Okay. She's learning from me doing the show. Okay. So Wait, let me let me tell them this. Okay. I am re-listening. Oh, well, I never actually no, no, listened. No, she is listening. I'm listening to the 10x rule on audio. I've only ever read the book, and it was a long time ago. That book. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I read it back then. I'm was listening to the book. Every morning before before Grant gets up, I'm out there listening to each chapter in the book, and I've heard so many people tell me, "Oh my gosh, my my partner gets so upset with me because I play Grant Cardone all day long, and and now I feel exactly like them." Grant comes out, wants to talk to me, and I say, "Shh, I'm listening to Grant Cardone," yeah, yeah, and I feel yeah. like one of those fans. But you really did get upset with me this morning. I was like, "Don't don't interrupt me." I I forgot how big that program was. That is. It, the, it is so incredible to hear you say it, yeah, and yeah. then you riff. It's incredible. So, anyway, so my point is, yes, I'm, I'm always learning from the best. Only the best. In any field. In any field. Business, it's Grant Cardone. Shooting, thank, thank it's you, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Martial arts, thank it's you, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Business, and hopefully, hopefully real you guys, estate, hopefully, right here. Hopefully you guys didn't waste the last two months. You had a lot of time. To learn, you could have read a good book. I mean, a good you could have you could have learned about real estate in the last two months. I've been learning. You could have could have done the ten x rule. That takes about ten hours. Uh, you could have listened to Michelle Obama. She's got an eighteen hour book. I know you Rock probably listened to her. You could have uh, listened to one hundred ways to stay motivated. Yeah, dude, that 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 that's a great pro. You could have studied Cardone. You. You could have listened to Build an Empire Online University. You could have. You could have, but most people didn't. You could have listened to Be Obsessed or Be Average. Most people went out and got toilet paper and masks. Sell or be sold. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, so, go on. So, look, um, China. Let's talk about China a second. All right. I think that we should punish China. Okay. I we think we should this? punish China. I think two things. Let me just say these two things. First of all, the first person, the, the first people that we should punish right now should China be punished for the virus? Okay. And is then the, I want to bring the, Jeff Bezos into this, is too. Is the conclusion I think, I think in Jeff, that Jeff is getting rewarded 
unnecessarily. I'm actually now jealous and envious of Jeff Bezos, and and, and I'm actually not going to buy anything from him anymore because I'm tired of it. Like Amazon is going to ruin, is going to bury every local business in America. Now I know that they're, they're looking at buying uh, the, uh, I think it's Theater. called Box. Oh, no, sorry. no, uh, Reba, uh, Box. Uh, uh, it's an automated driver. They're going to replace their entire system with drivers. They're going to get rid of all drivers. They're going to automate. They're going to get rid of drivers. Amazon's going to become an they're unemployment problem in America. So drones. China and Amazon are going to be responsible for the downfall and demise of America. And I'm not buying anything from Amazon for the next 60 days. We're and I hope you join me. Local. Nor am I buying Chinese products. We don't purchase, we, we're okay. not. Let me ask you this. Is is the verdict in, like have we had the jury? I'm, I'm asking. I'm, Let, I'm, let's ask, ha, let's has, ask Have we callers. asked, and has everyone, has the world come out and said, yes, China is guilty, and they've One, done the investigation? They, they've I mean, never, they've never said it didn't come from Wuhan. Innocence. No, they didn't say it didn't come from Wuhan. They've never come up and say, hey, this didn't get started here. It got started in Spain or Portugal. China has never, ever defended the fact that it came from Wuhan. Okay, so, so they've accepted that responsibility. Well, I'm just saying, they've never okay. said it didn't come okay. from here. They I'm didn't just, say, just, oh, just no, just it came from D.C. Johnny, let's talk to our callers about where it came from. Okay, all right. You got Marius from Detroit. Marius, did, 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 did the virus start in Detroit? Yeah, man, it was pretty crazy here, and uh, the governor is just taken out of proportion, to be honest. I don't wear the mask sure. anywhere I go, to be honest with you. Yeah. So you're in Michigan, right? So you, you, yeah. you what, what's that, uh, that, that whack chick uh, that runs your state? What's her name? Whatever, yeah. What's Whatever. her name? Yeah. No, no. What's her name? Uh, Whitmer. Her name is Whitmer. Whitmer, yeah. And her husband was out this weekend. They got busted because he went to his camp. Yeah. Where, went, she, yeah. where she lightened restrictions. She, light, mm -hmm. she, she lightened restrictions. <laughs> And, and uh, <laughs> oh my God, you do that when you drink too. And, and, uh, she, uh, uh, and then she got so busted for it, said she was just kidding. But the truth is, you know, they lighten restrict. So, so dude, you can't go out, you can't work right now over there, right? Well, honestly, well, pretty much yeah, everybody here uh, in this state, they're kind of, kind of scared <clears throat> because they got big numbers here, but I am, I mean, I come to, I come to my office and I'm also in network marketing. And the other day I, I hung out with 50, 60 people in my yard, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just doing my own thing. Yeah, but what are you worried about? Honestly, me, nothing. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know anybody that got sick. Uh, I haven't gotten sick. My parents are very scared, yeah. uh, like crazy, and I'm total opposite. Yeah. So, hey, I'd like anybody watching right now, if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or maybe you're listening on Sirius Radio, do you know anybody that's gotten sick from this? One, do you know anybody that's died from it? I'd mm -hmm. love to know. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's 100,000 people that died, but, but like, do you personally know anyone that's died from this? Not that that matters one way that I'm just curious. I know one person that got it, but she's fine now. Because I know 39 yeah. million people that don't have jobs now because of this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. some people probably were going to lose their job this way year anyway, but I can't imagine it was going to be 38 million higher than the Great Recession. Okay, the, the, the Great Recession, 2008, and the super depression of the 1920s. The Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl. The black and white. Great Depression. Nothing to laugh at until you're over it. Okay. So what do you do for work there, man? You work with ML, uh, MLMs? Marketing. And, uh, yeah. So no, I, uh, I'm an executive company, at a merchant company, yeah. and uh, I'm also a network marketer. So I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I'm 22 years old. We have spoke a few times. Awesome. Coming awesome. in July to see you. Uh, what are you going to do to take advantage of this recession? Uh, honestly, I'm doing everything that the, you know, I'm watching the masses and I'm doing the opposite. So we're doing uh -huh. a whole bunch of cold calling. We're reaching out to people. I'm contacting people on LinkedIn. There's 30 plus million people unemployed. Everybody wants passive income. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be great for network marketing. You know, people are going to look for opportunities now. They're like, okay, I'll go do a pyramid. Yeah, pyramid, okay. Even though it's not a pyramid. You know how they're yeah, like, yeah. I ain't doing no yeah, pyramid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. what they think at first. How about, how about this? How about that pyramid of 39 million people that's mounting up just like that? Yep. That's right. You out of work, hey, dude. Grant, Grant, Grant what's, what are your thoughts on network marketing? Dude, I love network Me marketing. I'm, I'm making a joke about the pyramid thing because people are like, yeah. I don't want to be in a pyramid. Hey, you, dude, you want to be broke? I have people tell me they don't like to read books. Okay, you want to be broke? Uh, I don't. I don't want. I don't want tenants calling me. All right. So you don't want to invest in real estate? Like it's quit being stupid. That's you right. know, like 
Uh, I, I know guys that don't want to get rich because they don't want to pay taxes. I was brought up like that. I was told, hey, don't make too much money because then you pay taxes. I'm like, dude, I want to make a bunch of money. It's insane what people say no to. Do you think China should be punished for Heck the yeah. Wuhan distribution? <laughs> Absolutely, man. I, I think I think uh, it was way too late the way we handled it, the way they did. I mean, yeah. just uh, doesn't how, tell nobody. Absolutely. How, how do you I, think, I think this is the, how do you think we should punish them? Should it be a tariff? Should it be not pay the loans back? Reparations? What should it be? Probably tariffs. You know, I, I think I think Trump got it. I, I think Donald Trump can do something about that. You think he's <laughs> going to put an ass whipping on him? He's going to be like, okay, y'all exported the, that. That the, was too much the, exports the, the, for us. The, the, the libtards need to get out of the way, though. The who? The libtards. Liberals. Oh, the Did liberals. Did left tarts? <laughs> he might have. I don't Live know. Tarts. I've never heard this term before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in, real Johnny. Quick, our next... quick, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. go ahead. For, for both of you. Um, so last time I spoke to you, Grant, I said I'm 22 years old. And he said the best advice I'll give you is to get rid of your girlfriend, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Second of all, Alina, this is to you. How do you chase your millions, okay, and still keep the right girl? You know, while doing it, how how'd you guys do it? You know, any advice you guys would give me in a relationship while yeah. building an Real empire? Real quick, include her in your mission so that it's your mission together. What is it that she wants? Where's the direction that she wants to go? What's your goal, your couple's goal together? And that way when you're out hustling and doing all of your stuff and you can't really be with her, she's included in it so she understands what y'all are going for together. And then you got to have the chick that's interested in building something and each other into heightened levels of success. Someone who doesn't just want to sit on a couch and do nothing and be happy the way things are. Dude, so you got to pick right. Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about picking that right. I'd be worried. I, I would just go. You need to go put all your attention on getting your cash right, your assets right, your job right, hard work, discipline. The right person's going to come along. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is what the young dude, the young studs don't know. Dude, they'll come. They always yeah. do. Just got to be patient. And, and it's not from like a materialistic <laughs> innuendo that you're doing. Like what? they'll come because you have money. They'll come because you will. No, ex no. You will have confidence in yourself. They will see that you're a real deal. Women like security. They like a man who's capable and competent and can contribute as well. They don't, we don't want loafs. So, no, so nobody don't make that, nobody uh, she'll come when the money comes. No, I didn't say innuendo. anything about that. I know you didn't. You innuendo. <laughs> Hence, innuendo. I, I felt dude, the dude, subtext. Look, dude, Wuhan. I'm an actress. I, I feel want some subtext. Wuhan. I want some Wuhan. Okay, should Wuhan be punished? Should China be punished? Should the Red Star State be punished? I need to know. Post below. If you're going to punish them, should it be a tariff? Should it be taxes? Should it be stop uh, exports? Uh, should it be that the government says, hey, we're taking over all the antibodies. We're going to manufacture yeah, antibodies here. We're going to build cars here. We're going to build shoes here. We're going to figure out how to produce things. And why can't we, by the way? Why, cannot we, why can't we produce tennis shoes at the same cost to China? Man, there's machinery out there that can do this stuff today, right? Please. Come on. Got to be. I don't know. Maybe I'm out of school here. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's hard to compete with freaking 50 cent labor. I mean, that's a whole other ethical issue. Th think about buying a $6,000 iPhone made nah, in the USA. Do, do, you know? What, you think it would cost 6000 here? No, then we wouldn't buy it here, man. Somebody would figure out how to produce an iPhone here. That's the reason right. we don't figure out how to do it here is because we do it over there. It's easy. We're lazy. Dude, you never figure anything out until you have to figure it out. And then we can make sense of somebody else doing slave labor. If we said, hey, by the way, Johnny, if you couldn't import them, if it was against the law to import them, that, that phone coming in from Japan or Taiwan, it would be $10,000. Because you'd have to buy it on the black market. Okay? And then somebody here would be like, okay, if it's a $10,000 phone, then somebody here will figure out how to, how to work it out. How much is the phone now? It ain't like it. the phone. They don't give the, guy, the damn thing away. Yeah, it's already expensive as it is. It's a 600 bucks, man, plus a $200 contract, okay? Somebody will figure out how to do the phone. Mm. But you know what? We keep rewarding the biggest companies on this planet. Apple doesn't pay any federal taxes. Why don't we stop that? 
And then what happens? The phone is not 600 bucks anymore. Now it's 2,000 bucks. Wait, doesn't Amazon, when you order online, you don't pay Why taxes Why does Amazon there? not pay taxes? Okay? They don't, you don't pay taxes there, but you have to go to the store and pay taxes in your local mall. Okay. It's not Jeff fair. Bezos is a Rothschild. I am convinced. He is the comeback of one of the Rothschilds. He's been hiding underneath for 25 Under years. He's come back. And He's I'm not buying anything from Amazon. I told Elena, I said, no more Amazon, dude. Do not buy anything from Amazon. I would rather, I'm going to pay for terrible service. And you guys know how I feel about retail. It's terrible. The retailers, we were going to buy something from Bloomingdale's the other day. I said, don't buy it from Bloomingdale's. Call Marlena. Marlene. Marlene. Uh, call Marlene. Because people need money. Your local business people need money. Even if they're sloppy, even if they're slow, but even if they're clarify, bad. Let's clarify this. Okay, the, the, the local Bloomingdale's, even though it's a big chain, they are local employees working in yeah, there. Yeah, Aventura Mall. Okay, so look, you have 20%, to support them or they don't have a job at dude, the Bloomingdale's. Dude, they can't keep them all. They're not going to be able to keep them all. The, the city can't, the city doesn't produce any taxes. I can't pay the policemen. Like, sooner or later, folks, we're only two months into this hellhole. Okay. Anybody, the stock market went up seven, 600 points yesterday, 300 points today. Whatever you see happening on the stock market is not what's happening on Main Street America. 39 million people are out of work. Okay. You have suicide rates going up 800%. Okay. Like, like it's insane. It's insane what's going on. It's not me. Nobody's telling the story about this because we're focused so much on masks and whether I can go to the beach or the ocean that we're not hearing about how people feel at home because they mm. can't pay their bills. Mm -hmm. uh, people are, are going to need money, okay? More importantly, people need a job. They need a job. We're, we've already brought everybody back to 100% of their wages here. We're starting to add people. We've already, we're starting to bring people back on here because now it looks like this thing will alleviate. At least we won't be under the spell of Wuhan. Should China be penalized? That's what I know. Well, here's, a, know. here's the situation. If you get drunk, right, and you get behind a, yeah. a car and yeah. you kill someone, they call that manslaughter, Man and you're going to jail. That's right. So if you look at it like that, then China should be held accountable. Because Understand. literally there were deaths involved. They either did Not it, only they, that, but with the economy. They either did it accidentally. If it's accidental, it's called what? In, yeah. in, in, involuntary, involuntary manslaughter. manslaughter. If I did it on purpose, it's murder. Right, it's homicide, right? Okay. I don't know. No, you don't. Homicide is I thought like you murder. Were an I thought you were on that show, uh, The Crime NCIS. Show. NCIS. I was a yeah. reporter on NCIS. Okay. Otherwise, I would have studied jo the How whole many? entire research. We got Josh from jo Detroit. Josh, what's going on in the Big D, baby? Big hey, D. How's it going, Greg? How's that governor y'all doing, bro? Well, she's, uh, she's quite a standout, <laughs> huh? Oh, we have so, another one? So, so actually, I, I'm actually not from De Detroit. Maybe I misspoke when I called in or didn't come across right, but I'm from Seattle. Okay, well, you know, guess Seattle, age, that's a totally different place. Uh, right, I'm right. going to guess his yeah. age. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on a second. We're guessing your age right now, right? Okay. Um, okay, what, okay what are you? 27. How old are you? I'm 26. Bam, I won Dang, that one. You, owe me, you did. I, owe you I said dollars. 32. Okay, okay, I had you at 27. All right. Um, Pretty close. Should Wuhan, China, China. China. How does, how does Trump say it? He says, it's from China. 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 Should they be punished? You know, I was honestly hoping that you guys were going to ask me the math question. Uh, the what? <laughs> the math question. Should China question. Okay, let, let, let's go back. Uh, let's go back and ask the math question. Should you be forced to wear a mask at Equinox? At the gym. <laughs> well, so I'll, I'll answer it this way. I... I work in an industry where I do I'm, I don't have to go into an office or a retail space, so I really haven't been wearing a mask much anyway. Uh, but I I have been wearing it when I go to the store, um, okay. and I I have been wearing it in public spaces. My wife is a nurse, um, so I tend to follow some of the advice that I get from her and trust her. Um, so I I've, I've been doing it, but I really don't have to wear one that much. Yeah. So I mean. You know, the one that needs to wear the mask when she comes home is your wife. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you guys when you guys have sex, do y'all wear masks? <laughs> no. 
You just wear her panties on your face. Oh my God. Whoa. Handle yourself, Mr. <laughs> Inappropriate. Okay. Okay. You know, you, they're saying a lot of the people that are getting sick right now, on a serious note, a lot of people that are getting ser uh, sick right now are, aren't even going out. They're getting sick at home. Does your wife, would your wife, since she's a nerf, would she know how somebody could get sick at home? How would that even happen? Do you know? Uh, you know, so. I, I it, it, and this is coming, you know, from her. This is honest. There's, there's still a lot of mystery about how it's being spread. So no one really knows the answer for that. I mean, I think that probably the most obvious one could be if someone was going out that can be exposed to it and then brings it back to the house. Like for example, my wife being a nurse could go out, get exposed to it at work, and then come back. But, but otherwise, no. There's still a lot of mystery behind how exactly this mm -hmm. thing is able to spread. Yeah. Okay, now let's switch to uh, even something that, that's going to be here longer than the virus. Should China be penalized for exporting? Their greatest export now is not tennis shoes. It's it is the virus. Oh. Um, you know, I, I don't know exactly how, how and what that would look like. I know that you shared your um, opinions on what that could be as far as not, just – starting to create more of the goods that we import from China here locally. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's, maybe that's the way we do it or just start some of that production. But, but, but you know, but, guys, I, 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 but you know, you know, when, when we, when we went to Vietnam and destroyed Vietnam, we fixed the whole country up after that. We spent hundreds of billions of dollars fixing it. Okay. When we went to Iraq, we, we spent money there. Every, everywhere we leave damage, uh, they always get money from us mm -hmm. for that. Why, why wouldn't why wouldn't there be? If I come to your house this weekend and and screw it up, I got you know you're probably going to say, hey, dude, you got to fix it. If I go to the mall and leave a bunch of damage, they're going to be like, bro, you got to you got to fix the place. <laughs> you're the one that caused the damage. Why would not? Why wouldn't people have to fix the damage? Spain, Italy, these economies have been destroyed. Brazil, okay? Argentina. China's supposed to be Peru. a second world power. Like they're supposed to have like one of the greatest economies in the world now. Why wouldn't they fix the damage that they have left in the in the wake of whatever happened in their their their, their laboratory? Their bat laboratory. I think they were trying yeah. to make Batman. <laughs> they're like, we want to be more like America. We're gonna make us we're gonna export some Marvel comics. <laughs> Uh, hey man, appreciate you calling in. Tell your wife thank you for being on. Tell your wife thank you for being on the front line. Really appreciate that. All right, last caller. Last Rudy caller, and then I'm gonna be doing Robert Kiyosaki Cap in about three minutes. Me and Robert are gonna be talking about real estate. Oh wow, cool. With the with the the Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki. We got Rudy from Kelly. Ruby. Rudy. What's that name? That Rudy Logan song. Ru Goodbye. Rudy or Ruby. Ruby Tuesday. Ruben James. Oh, jeez. Mr. Cardone, no thank you for all that you do. I have a question for you. Yo, man, bring it on, player. All right. Uh, by the way, I do believe that China should be penalized, man. Uh, they hurt the economy. They withhold information. Them and the Wu, they, they withhold information to us. But my question is this. With the massive printing of money... Are you concerned about hyperinflation and are you investing in different asset classes besides real estate? Gold and Bitcoin have gone up since this crisis. Man, you know what? Ruby, don't take your, you, you love the town, okay? That's the song, by the way. Um, I look at my Bitcoin every day, bro. Every day I look at, I think it was at 9,100 bucks today. Okay, you we... didn't know that song, did you? No. Yeehaw. I don't do this music. Ruby, are you contemplating going out somewhere? So, um, so yeah, dude. Like, I, I'm not a gold guy. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna ever buy gold because I gotta go. I gotta go spend money to get it out of the ground, take it out of the ground, and then bring it to another place to store it in another place. I gotta pay to store it in another place, and then when I need it, I can't get it because it's too heavy. Okay. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the great Elena Cardone. I say punish China. Punish China. Ooh, I say punish China. Ooh, Don't brutal. pay Amazon. And I'm going to wrap up Shop with just saying local. them. Shop local. Buy local. And by the way, 
make sure you don't waste the Great Recession, folks. This is going to be a phenomenal opportunity. Get your cash. Invest in assets. Get a job. If you're out of work, man, I know how hard that is. I lost seven jobs. Please tell me where we can go to see your real estate webinar. GrantCardone.com forward slash REI. Learn how to invest with no money down and no credit. My first two deals, okay, made me, I think, $7,007 plus $37,000. I put no money down, $3,500. If you can't figure out how to come up with $3,500 to make $35,000, then you know what? Come on. Then you ain't going to win out you of this bigger, economy. You got bigger problems than a okay. virus. You got mental problems. And I can't help you. Yes, GrantCardone.com forward slash R E I. You help people give people their money. GrantCardone.com right. forward slash R E I. I'll see you guys Saturday. Elena Cardone on Instagram. She's a great inspiration, a great partner, a great friend of mine. Wuhan, punish them. Don't buy from Amazon. Do not buy from Amazon this weekend, folks. Buy local, support local, help your local business out. Thanks for listening.